xuống đi
music this morning is presented by the Paris Island Marine Band. The drum major is Gunnery Sergeant Shu. The enlisted conductor is Gunnery Sergeant Matt. New Marines. For the convenience of everyone attending the ceremony, we request that you please remain in your seats until the ceremony is complete. We also ask that you do not pass in front of the reviewing stand or onto the parade deck during the ceremony. Once the ceremony is complete, please be sure to gather all of your belongings and place any trash in the receptacles located behind you prior to exiting the stands. Thank you for your cooperation. The term Devil Dog is used today as a friend. It was first given to the Marines by German troops who fought against them at the Battle of Bellowood during World War I. In 1921, Major General Smedley Butler introduced the first Bulldog as a Marine mascot. Now entering the parade deck is Paris Island's own Devil Dog, Corporal Ofo May. Is an English bulldog who enlisted for the Marine Corps on August 21st, 2017. She reported for recruit training on August 27th and graduated November 17th. Corporal Ophemay's handler is Lance Corporal Sanders of the Headquarters and Service Battalion. The staff for today's ceremony is comprised of officers and drill instructors from the 1st and 4th Recruit Training Battalions. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. The chaplain of the 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Asher, United States Navy, will deliver the invocation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Spiritual development plays an important time. Please join me in a prayer for the Marines of Company C and N. Let us pray. Oh God, as we gather together today, we give you thanks for giving us the courage, strength, and patience necessary to accomplish the goal of becoming United States Marines, working through our diversity of cultures and personalities you have forged us into a team. We thank you for seeing us through the physical, emotional, and spiritual trials of training. You have blessed us with loving families and friends who have supported us while we were here. Thank you for bringing them safely to share this special moment with us. 
we pray that you will continue our core and our country now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The adjective for today's ceremony is Captain Cranford. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
our army. We would like to recognize them. We ask that those men and women in the audience who have served in the United States Marine Corps, please rise. Please join us in showing our Gentlemen, on behalf of our commanding general, Brigadier General Nethercock, I want to welcome you to historic Marine Corps Recruit Depot Paris Island and today's graduation ceremony for Company C and Company N. I'd also like to take a moment to personally welcome the parade reviewing official for today's ceremony, the commanding officer of 6th Marine Regiment, Colonel Kenny. Sir, it's an honor to have you with us here today as you represent over 25 years of selfless service to Corps and country. We thank you for your service and we thank you for your participation in today's ceremony ceremony to recognize these Marines standing in formation. Most of them arrived here 13 weeks ago, alone, probably a little nervous. They come from different parts of the country and many walks of life. But today, they stand together, full of confidence as United States Marines. And that confidence is well earned because for the past three months, these Marines have been tested mentally, morally, and physically. They've completed water survival training, earned their martial arts belt, qualified with their service rifle, passed their academic and physical fitness tests, and mastered close order drill. All of this culminating with their rite of passage through the crucible, a grueling 54 hour test of selflessness, teamwork, and endurance. And throughout their training, these Marines have come to both understand and embrace our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Now, of course, we recognize that they, their journey then began long before they ever stepped foot on our yellow footprints. Each and every one of you is responsible for building the foundation and setting them on the lawn in this day. It was the love and support of parents, family, and friends that enabled them to complete recruit training, and your support will continue to guide them as Marines. Also assisting these Marines are our outstanding recruiters who I would like to recognize. This hardworking group of dedicated professionals spent countless hours in your hometowns searching for only the best and most qualified applicants to become Marines. It was a recruiter who saw the potential in your son or daughter and offered them the challenge of earning the title, United States Marine. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to recognize our phenomenal Marine Corps drill instructors. This hardworking group of professionals dedicated themselves to transforming recruits into Marines. And for the past three months, they spent nearly every waking hour pouring their own blood, sweat, and tears into teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these young men and women. In fact, it is the hard work, dedication, and utmost professionalism of our drill instructors that will forever be etched into the memories of your Marine. So please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for our drill instructors and the amazing family that support them. Welcome to the Corps, and congratulations on your accomplishments. Marines, as Marines, you are now different and will forever be held to a higher standard than others. Today, today is about you and all that you've accomplished to get here. But know this, come tomorrow, it is no longer about you. It is about those Marines that have come before you so that you may carry on their proud legacy. It is about those Marines to your left and to your right who will always have your back when you need them. It is about those people in the stands that represent this nation and all of the trust that they put in us. We will not let them down. You now carry on your shoulders the burden of our country's future. Carry that burden proudly. Soon you will leave here and join the ranks of fellow Marines serving around the world and will represent everything that is great about this nation. I want you to think back on the challenges that you endured here at Recruit Training. Marines are the first to fight and Marines win. There is no better friend, no worse enemy than a United States Marine. So wear our trusted emblem with pride and honor, not just on your uniform, but in your heart. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Never forget the feeling that you had when your drill instructor placed that Eagle Globe and anchor into your hand. Cherish that memory as you will carry that emblem with you forever. Finally, Marines, above all else, serve with honor, serve with courage, and serve with commitment, and you will do well. Congratulations, Marines, on your tremendous achievement. I wish you all the very best of luck in Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our nation's newest United States Marine.
Thank you. Please be seated. Reviewing today's chemical engineer and was commissioned in 1996. Colonel Kenny completed the basic school in July 1996 and subsequently the infantry officer course. Reported to 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines, and served as a platoon commander, Company K, and 81mm Mortar Platoon Commander, Weapons Company. During this tour, Colonel, in December of 2001, Colonel Kenny was assigned to the infantry officer course and held billets as instructor and group advisor. In March of 2003, Colonel Kenny reported for duty with 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines. He left Company G in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom II in Al Ramadi, Iraq, before being assigned as a battalion operations officer in June of 2005. As the operations officer, he deployed with the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit. During this deployment, the B. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retirement of the colors.
the platoon guidelines that are about to be retired have been the identification flags of each platoon throughout recruit training. To each, the guidon is a symbol of spirit, dedication, teamwork, and unit identity. Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Rock will present the High PFT and Honor Graduate Awards. Lieutenant Colonel Rock is accompanied by the 1st Recruit Training Battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Williamson. We would like to thank the Marine Corps Association for providing the awards today. Please hold your applause until all the awards have been presented. most physically fit Marine of Company N, with a score of 593 out of 600 possible points, is Private Adams of Platoon 4012. Private Adams is from Virginia Beach, Virginia, and was recruited by Sergeant DeMars. The honor graduate for Platoon 1016 is PSC Hess. PSC Hess is from Daytona Beach, Florida, and was recruited The honor graduate for Platoon 1017 is PSC Hill. PFC Hill is from Reiner, Virginia, and was recruited by Sergeant Koshuta. The honor graduate for Platoon 1018 is PFC Shiraya. PFC Shiraya is from Pomona, New York, and was recruited by Sergeant Shiraya. The honor graduate for Platoon 1020 is PFC Ennis. PFC Ennis is from Washington, D.C., and was recruited by Sergeant Negron. The honor graduate for Platoon 1021 is PFC Bustle. PFC Bustle is from Vermont, Ohio, and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Chuan. And most physically fit Marine of Company C is PFC Bell of Platoon 1022. PFC Bell had a physical fitness score of 600 out of 600 possible points. PFC Bell is from Milford, Pennsylvania, and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Colley. The honor graduate for Platoon 4012 is PFC Marston. PFC Marston is from Lebanon, New Hampshire, and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Canal. The company honor graduate for Company N is PFC Decker of Platoon 4013. PFC and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Nolan. Marching into the reviewing area are the combat marksmanship instructors of platoons 1020 and 4013, Sergeant Van Meter and Sergeant Bullis. Mm -hmm. 50 possible points is PSC Blanco. PSC Blanco is from Orlando, Florida, and was recruited by Sergeant Allegria. The high shooter of Company N with a score of 333 out of 350 possible points is PFC Bowman. PFC Bowman is from Bluefield, New Mexico and was recruited by Sergeant Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished graduates of Company C and Company N.
the historic partnership and shared legacy of the United States Navy and the Marine Corps, followed by the Marines hymn and the final dismissal. If you have served or are currently serving in the United States Marine Corps, we invite you to sing along to the Marines hymn.